Hi everyone, uh, this is Pam Andrews and I'm a children's Christian songwriter and I've been writing for a long time and recently um, I've been doing some music conferences and because of those conferences some of my friends that I've met there have encouraged me to begin a video blog for children's worship and so I wanted to uh, tonight is my first installment. I'm so excited about it. Uh, what I want to do tonight is just begin with sharing how I became a Christian. And I think that is a really great way to begin anything like this. And just to lift this up to God that He um, is going to be totally in charge. That I'm going to get out of His way and let Him do His thing. and Because He's a great God that can do anything. But anyway, I thought I would do this. Then, if you wanted to share this with your kids, that would be great um, in worship. Um, but no matter what, I want you to know me and know my heart. Um, back what, many years ago, I was. Um, it, it was we lived in a house in Popper Bluff, Missouri, and my mom and my dad and my two brothers and I. We we lived in a four room house. And my father would lead revivals in places all across the United States, actually, especially in the South. He would do it in different places across the U.S., but really, mainly it was in um, Missouri, Tennessee, Arkansas, especially in the South. Well, um, Dad was leading a revival one night, and actually I was five years old. And on that night, my brother Gary asked Jesus in his heart. It was really wonderful. And in fact, on Wednesday nights of those revivals, uh, my dad would always um, lead a children's choir. And at the end of the children's choir, we would all get bubble gum, which was really fun. But anyway, um, I saw my brother go up in church and I thought, wow, man, I would really, really like to ask Jesus in my heart. Well, you know, um, I went home and we had a practice as a family that we would uh, kneel by my roll away, roll away bed. I slept on a roll away bed and with, in the same room with my brothers. And so we would always kneel around that roll away bed and we would pray. Well, um, that particular night we were kneeling and we, after the revival and my brother had asked Jesus in his heart, I, we were kneeling and after, at the end of the prayer we always ended it with the Lord's Prayer. And at the end of that prayer, um, I just kept kneeling and I asked, and my mom said, Pam, hop up in bed. And I said, oh, you know, I, I really want to ask Jesus in my heart, mom. And she said, you know, surprisingly, she did not say, hey, let's do it. She said, Pam, I think you're too young. And I said, oh, you know, I was really troubled by it. But I hopped up in bed and went on to sleep. But I didn't go to bed feeling very good inside. Well, um, the next night, back then we did even two-week revivals. Yes, we did. So um, the next night we went to church again. And I remember sitting in that service and at the end of the service feeling like I wanted so badly to ask Jesus in my heart. But, you know, I was a little and I was afraid to go forward. But again, we went back to our um, church, I mean, back to our house. And when we were there, we were praying by our bed and said the Lord's Prayer. And again, I kept kneeling at the end of the prayer. And my mother said, uh, Pam, hop up in bed. And I said, oh, Mom, I just, I just feel like I want to ask Jesus in my heart. And she said, Pam, you're just too young, honey. You got to get in bed. And so I got in bed and actually I was, you know, very sad about that because I wanted to ask Jesus in my heart. Well, we went back the third night to the revival and as I, at the end, you know, I still felt the same way at church and we came back to the house and I was kneeling by my bedside and again, I just kept kneeling at the end of the Lord's Prayer and just kept uh, praying and um, my mom said, Pam, hop up in bed and I said, Mama, I need to ask Jesus in my heart and she says, Pam, you are just too young to ask Jesus in your heart. You're only five. We need to wait a little while. So um, I looked at her and I said, Mom, I'm just going to kneel here until somebody shows me how to ask Jesus in my heart. I just feel like I need to pray until that time. And I was only five when that happened. I remember it very clearly. Well, that the coolness of that story 
is that because I was a child and asked Jesus in my heart so young, I've had Jesus with me my whole life. So through episodes of breast cancer, through um, all different kinds of things that have happened in our lives, as with my husband Dave and with my kids, you know, we've had Jesus, and I especially, I've had Jesus to uh, help me through those moments and to give us moments of grandchildren being born, exciting moments, uh, to share it with him. It's been wonderful knowing him my whole life. Um, you know, there are three um, steps to knowing Jesus. And A, first you admit you've sinned. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. You know, everybody's made mistakes. Everybody. Miss Pam makes mistakes to this day. And, but the goodness of God is that um, he is there to, to listen to us and to also try to help us through mistakes. So the first thing is to admit you've sinned. B believe in Jesus Christ. You know, I believe in Jesus and the joy of him is that if we just believe in Jesus and trust him as our personal savior, he is ready, ready, ready to accept us as his children. You know, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. What a great idea. You know, if we just believe in Jesus, he will uh, accept us and choose us as his children. It's so wonderful. And the last one is confess him before men and actually claim him as our savior. You know, if we confess Jesus towards men, he is faithful and just to confess us, to, to receive us. So I just ask you right now, if you don't know Jesus as your personal savior, um, I hope you will think about it tonight or today, right now when you see this video. Just pray that prayer. Dear Jesus, I have sinned. Dear Jesus, I claim you as my savior. I believe in you. Please come into my heart. Now these vlogs are gonna be so much fun because I'm gonna do all kinds of little music activities and I'm gonna make things. I'm gonna do things that you can do to enhance worship, worship with your children uh, every time you're together. I've got tons of things that I can share with you. I'm gonna talk to you about discipline with your children, especially in music, that how music can help you with that. We're gonna talk about why we do music and how music is one of the best uh, learning tools there is. Okay, get ready. I'm gonna to try to post them every week. So just be brave, open that little uh, link, and here we go. I love you all. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Pam Andrews and I am a children's Christian songwriter and I write music for kids and worship and I like hands-on movements and all kinds of things to enhance worship with kids. But in recent days, I've been at music conferences with some of my really good friends, hi out there, and they have encouraged me to begin a music blog sharing ideas about children's music and children's worship and how we can have uh, enhance that worship with our kids. So tonight is my very first blog, I'm so excited. Um, I thought I would begin tonight by sharing with you how I became a Christian. Um, one reason I thought it would be good if you wanted to share it with your kids and say, here's a songwriter, Pam Andrews, and this is how she became a Christian. And I thought this would be a good way for you to present the gospel to your kids. So here it goes. Uh, many, 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 many years ago, when I was actually five years old, uh, my father was a uh, actually a singer, and he would lead revivals, especially in um, Popper, near Popper Bluff, Missouri, and where I was where I lived, as well as in Tennessee, in Arkansas. You know, in that area, he would do that. He um, would always um, we back then we had. Uh, actually revivals for maybe even two weeks kids and or uh, it was really exciting and it was actually fun and on Wednesday nights he would actually uh, gather all the children together and he would have a children's choir and we would sing songs like this a light of mine it was so much fun and at the end of those nights he would always give us bubble gum which I could not wait for every single time anyway when um, one night when we were in a revival my brother Gary asked Jesus in his heart. He went forward in church and he told the pastor he wanted to ask Jesus in his heart. And you know, I was thinking when he was doing it, I knew about Jesus and I knew that I loved Jesus and I thought, I wanna ask Jesus in my heart too. 
But I was a little bit small and I was afraid to go forward, so um, we just went on home. And actually, uh, I lived in the same room with my two brothers. We had a four-room house and my brothers had two beds and I, I slept on a rollaway bed. And every night before we went to bed, uh, we would all gather as a family when we would pray. And at the end of that prayer, we would always do the Lord's Prayer. We did it every night. Well, the night after my brother became a Christian, I decided, I, I thought, I wanna become a Christian. So at the end of the prayer, I just kept kneeling. And my mom said, Pam, hop up in bed. And I said, Mom, you know, I think I wanna ask Jesus in my heart. And she said, oh, Pam, you know, you're too young. You're, you're just too young to do that. You need to hop up in bed. So I reluctantly got in bed and, you know, but really had an uneasy feeling in my heart about it. And, but I went on to sleep that night. And the next night we went again to um, the revival. And um, when at the end, when the pastor was giving an invitation, I felt like I wish I could go forward. I, I wanted to ask Jesus in my heart, but you know, I, I was again worried about going forward. So we went home and at the end of, we prayed again. And at the end of the prayer, I said, um, I, I really, I honestly felt like I just need to ask Jesus in my heart. So at the end of the prayer, I just kept praying again. And my mom said, hop up in bed. And I said, mom, I just, I just feel like I need to ask Jesus in my heart. And and she says, Pam, you're just too little. I just can't, you can't do that right now. And so I got in bed and again, I was kind of sad about it because I thought, boy, I just really feel like I want to ask Jesus in my heart. Well, we, again, the third night, we went back to the, um, the revival and while they were doing it, the invitation was being held again, I felt like I wanted to go up and I wanted to know Jesus, but you know, I just did not feel good about it. Uh, my life at all at that point and but I didn't want to go in front of everyone so I was kind of worried and so I went home and again we were praying around the bed and we did the Lord's Prayer and at the end I was kneeling again and my mom said um, Pam hop up in bread and I said mom I need to ask Jesus in my heart well you know um, and she said Pam you're just too young honey you need to go hop in bed. And I said, Mama, I really am gonna stay here and pray until someone shows me how to ask Jesus in my heart. So my mom and dad realized I was very, very serious, even at five years old, to find Jesus and have him as my Lord and Savior. So they took me in the other room and sat down on that green couch, and they took me through the Roman road in the Bible, and that night I became a Christian. You know, the Bible says that really it's pretty easy to become a Christian. One, A, all you got to do is admit, your, admit you've sinned. A, it, just admitting your sin to Jesus, let him know that everybody sinned. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Everybody sins. Miss Pam sins. Everybody sins. So the next thing you do is just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. If you just believe in him, um, you, will, you will come to be his child. And, and that, just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you know, which is so cool. And uh, then finally, just claim his, uh, him as your Savior. Go out there and tell the world that you are a Christian. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believed in him will be saved. That is just so true. Um, I hope that tonight, if you're thinking about asking Jesus, Jesus in your heart, you will think seriously about it. Tell a grown-up, tell someone. They want you to know Jesus too. And you know what? There's lots of new Christians classes everywhere that you can be a part of. There's, it's, but it's not really hard to do. So uh, go to a grown-up that is a good grown-up. Tell your mom or dad. Uh, tell them that you want to know Jesus, and that would be great. And I just love you so much for joining me on my blog. And I just pray that you'll come and join me every week, um, workers, because I'm going to have a new idea next week, a hands-on activity of how to make a shiny thing. Shiny thing is going to be really fun. So come and join me. I love you all. Come join Pam Andrews Music on my YouTube account. 
and all this is free for you and just to help you out. I'm going to try to come see you every week, teaching you new ideas for worship with children, as well as how to, music helps you with discipline, how music is a great way to learn. And I love you all so much, and I'll see you on the tube. Bye.